Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we went to Zaya, we got all the house favors done, we got all the house quests done, and then we attempted to do a Kingdom Divided, which didn't go so well, so we're gonna have to come back to that in the future. Today, I wanna keep working towards Barrow's Gloves because at this point, we are so, so close. Uh, one of the main things that we're still missing, though, is 70 cooking. And at the end of the last video, I started fishing Karambwans. I think this is all the raw food that we have right now. So I have all this stuff. And then I just fished about 2,000 raw Karambwans. We're starting from 62 cooking and I haven't done the math. I'm just like really hoping that this will be enough, including like the stuff that we burn. Um, the cooking gauntlets don't work for Karambwans if you didn't know that. And because that's the bulk of what we're gonna be cooking, I'm not gonna spend 25K to change the goldsmith gauntlets into those, but um, we have these raw swordfish as well, so. This is all the raw food. I'll start from the lowest tier, like with the tuna, then lobster, swordfish, and then the karambwan. So let's start cooking, and I'm going to start editing the last video. The first karambwan has been cooked, and that was a hard karamja task, apparently. This guy is so toxic, dude. Ram Ocean. Like, you know, like Ram Sea, but Ram Ocean. I just want to show you that if we go over to the mess hall here, uh, there's another person named UC. I swear there's so many times where I'm not paying attention and I look over and I think it's actually a player yelling at me. And no, I'm not going to be one ticking Karambwans because if I didn't even want to do mess hall, then what makes you think I'd want to do this super intensive method? Now while we're cooking here, here is a quick word from today's sponsor. You need to get protected on the internet with NordVPN. I think it's no secret that your ISP tracks and sells your data to profit off your day-to-day -day internet browsing. Well, with NordVPN, you can not only hide your location, but protect your data with the option to connect to over 5,200 servers in 60 countries. Nord also blocks dangerous websites for you, it prevents DDoS attacks if you're gaming, and it unlocks content or websites that wouldn't normally be viewable in your country. Nord also allows you to have up to six connections at once and you can access it from your phone. And this is especially important because it's a really good idea to be connected to a VPN in a public setting, like if you're at a coffee shop or an airport. Nord offers 24 seven customer support and they're so confident with their product that they offer a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it out and see if it's for you. Right now, Nord currently has a huge discount on their two year plan and it comes with a bonus gift. And if you bundle it with other secure services they offer, such as their password manager or their cloud storage, you can get even more discounts. So go to nordvpn.com slash wildmudkip with code wildmudkip at checkout to get protected today. And thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. That's the last Karambwan we got so close to. We're just over 6k XP away. Uh, so we have, let's see, 1600 Kromp wands. I'll take out 800 of those and put them in the group storage for Spook. So that way she can use them for Slayer or questing or whatever. Uh, let's see what raw food we still have. I guess we may as well just like take out everything and cook as much as we possibly can. Yes, this is how desperate I am right now. I'm literally cooking shrimps. I can't believe if I had just fished one more inventory of Kromp wands, we wouldn't have had to worry about this. Well, I have all these grapes, but no uh, jugs of water. So let's go to Lumbridge. Now all we got to do is wait for the XP drop from the wines and there it is level 70 cooking the last skilling requirement that we need for RFD uh, so let's go ahead and go do the Awoji section of RFD now we went from level 62 to level 70 in like just over two hours luckily when we did monkey madness we did make all the other grigris so that's gonna save a lot of time during the quest not having to run through that whole tunnel again instead of going to the grand tree and going through that whole process to get to Ape Atoll I think we can just use the fairy ring to get there right it should take us to the agility course. Yeah, nice. He needs monkey nuts. What is he, moist critical? It looks dangerous. Are you sure you wish to enter? Yes, I'm as hard as nails. I don't know if that's the same metaphor that I would use, but sure. How tough am I? I had a bowl of nails for breakfast without any milk. Man, I still can't believe there's an item called Cheeky Monkey Nuts. All right, I pulled a reverse psychology on the game. I made four of them, so that way I'll be guaranteed to not burn the first one. And there we go, <laughs> it looks good. It was either gonna be that or we'd burn all of them, just knowing my luck. Oh, we cooked a second one and we cooked a third one and we cooked the fourth one. All right, we have exactly level 70 as well. And we have freed King Awoji. Uh, this also unlocks the Apatol teleport spell once we get the level, of course. So that's pretty cool. An alternative to the fairy ring teleport, I guess. Just ceramic base to go. Oh, I probably should have looked a little bit ahead in the quest guides because it turns out we need to make corn flour and for corn flour, we need sweet corn. 
Uh, we do have seeds though, luckily, so let's go plant these. All right, brother, we got 53 farming. Just gonna attend to these crops right here. We're running pretty low on ultra compost, so I guess in the meantime, while we wait for uh, the sweet corn to grow, we'll just mine some volcanic ash because we're pretty much out. And 59 mining here at the volcanic ash. This should be perfect timing because the sweet corn should like just be grown now or it's about to grow in like one minute. Uh, we mined about 1100 volcanic ash so we're pretty much set for a while in that regard yes it's still alive okay it's like two minutes left till it's done this is what my life has devolved into just flinching this black dragon here <laughs> it's probably gonna take a while i'm uh taking a bit of a break from flinching the black dragon i think i'll just grab like a range setup or something uh, Spook just needs some items for Watchtower, so just put all those in there for her. Okay, now I can just chill here in AFK. I, I figure it's probably better to have it on accurate because accuracy is probably going to be really important. If I'm even able to hit at all with 45 range, yeah, this will take a while. Yes, finally! The range setup uh, worked eventually, so... Oh, what was that? Big, black, and fiery. I guess it's probably just killing a black dragon. <gasps> Hi, click. We use the pot of creme brulee on ceramic vase, and there we go. That's the last sub quest complete. We're almost ready now to fight the culinary romancer. All we gotta do is desert treasure. Well, I've just been like staring at these rings. They look so cool. Let me in, please. Spook's just doing one last quest, and then I think we should be all ready for DT. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna go do a bunch of farm runs. This might be obvious to a lot of you, but as someone who's only played UIM for the longest time, I've never really had the chance to use payment to have the trees be watched over. I pretty much just always use Ultra Compost. But if you didn't know, you can actually use noted stuff as payment. See the noted basket of oranges? It works. You probably knew that already, but in case you didn't. There's just so much stuff like that that's new to me. As you can see, I started blackjacking for a bit after I did the farm runs, uh, but it turns out Spook Dog needs limpet roots for uh, Temple of Ikov. I have like two patches planted, so I guess we'll uh, plant some more lumbers. She could just kill Hobgoblins to get the rest that she's missing though. Hobgoblin D's no. Well, we ended up having a little bit more time before the quest than I expected, as you could see. Uh, and here's 83 thieving. Decided to come here and do some blackjacking. Now this is really cool compared to playing UYM. I can just easily hop between all these different activities, which is something that I haven't really had the chance to experience for years now. What if they added competitive carpet riding to RuneScape? Ooh, desert treasure started. No way, we're both the weed number? There's actually no way. Oh, that's it, okay, that was fast. Okay, so we have to get all four of the diamonds now. The anti-dragon shield, huh? Interesting choice. We're looking like the cutest noobs right now. I don't know what else I could use. I like, don't have any gear. Do you see that well? Yeah. That's good. A lot of people don't. Oh wait, I'll be right back. I have to play a, play a game with a guy. Wait, I forgot. What haircut do you have in game? None. Wait, can I see? I forgot. First diamond acquired. If I just run away, will he disappear? Oh, did he de <laughs> He's like aggroed on me now. Oh, but no. wait, can I attack him? Oh, I see. He's aggroed on me, but it says he has no interest in fighting me. Oh. Oh, that's a good tip for UYMs though. Uh, the more diamonds you have on you, the more likely the stranger is to come attack you, but you can actually put the diamonds on the pyramid as you get them, so that way you won't have to worry about the stranger. We have a bank though, so. I guess I'll go first because since you only have 59 thieving, it's probably going to be a, a bit more of a struggle. Okay, let's try to open the chest. 83 thieving. Oh wow, I actually didn't get it first try. Wait, I wasn't supposed to struggle with this, I was supposed to get it first try. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, watch you get first try and it takes me like 10 tries to get it. Nice, there we go. Okay, good luck. I guess I'm pretty much your pack mule. <laughs> it's probably gonna take a while. Oh, I'll go uh, unnote these lockpicks. Oh, nice, I come back and, uh, and you got it. Nice, congrats. What am I even good for? Absolutely not. Who's he chasing after? He's, he's just like following random people now. <laughs> Is he just gonna be there till like the next server reset or something? <laughs> He's so confused. Yeah, like trying to get away. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm unironically getting lost in here. Maybe you should be the train conductor. See if that works. Oh, nice. Nice. Easy. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and go on. <laughs> okay. Probably not the best place to to go AFK, but oh, nice. That was easy. She's AFK still. 
Ooh, what if I lured like one of the skeletons over here or something? <laughs> I would never do that. All right, I've seen a bunch of YouTubers do this thing where they flick their prayers back and forth every game tick. I've never tried this, but I'll try it now. See if it works. You shouldn't be attacking me. Nice. Wow. <laughs> the game's so broken, dude. You took the easy way out with your safe spot through the fence. I like to struggle. It, it builds character. Diamond number three. I do have a few red spider's eggs, so I'll just make some uh, some restore potions for us here. Okay, here's your war rations. Use them sparingly. Camille defeated with no help on the group iron. It's so funny how the characters just like fall flat on their face. <laughs> Yay, that's the last diamond. Please, I can see freedom. Yes. Desert treasure is completed. Oh, such a nice feeling. Last requirement for Barrow's gloves. We got a magic level. We can use the Trollheim teleport now without having to boost with the wizard's mind bomb. Uh, we can pray at the altar for a desert diary task. Should probably go back to the regular spell book. And then we can also buy the ancient staff from Eblis. She got kicked out the pyramid. Well, you know what this means it's time for. Let's go start gearing up to do the final boss, the Colneromancer and his uh, many pastries and various desserts. I guess it's kind of like the, the sequel to Desert Treasure. It's Dessert Treasure. Well, as I was going in here, I just learned that apparently you can't use prayers in here, but that's all right. We should be fine, right? Fighting this goofy looking banana. Whoa. Okay, maybe we're gonna have to mage instead. I'm just running around the room as if I'm fighting Sarah or something. I think he can still mage too, but it seems like I'm negating at least some of the hits. Dude, well, this fight was not supposed to be such a struggle. We ran out of food. Well, desperate times. Call for desperate measures. Let's uh, spend some money here on death runes. Oh, big hits already. Yeah, death runes are probably the way to go. Please. <laughs> <laughs> that fight took way longer than it should have, but <laughs> at least we still beat him. Luckily, we're able to re-gear and uh, resupply after each of the fights, and it saves our progress, so that's nice. It's crazy how I'm like not even hitting him, yet I'm still hitting him. <laughs> and there is Flambade down. He gave us a bunch of cakes. Well, this fight's hella easy. I'm just manually casting uh, Firebolt and haven't had to use any food at all. By the way, this pool is like super useful. It's kind of like the opposite of the first pool that you unlock in the POH, which only restores your special. This restores everything except your special. It even restores all your stats back up too. Bro, what are those generic brand D claws he has on? Oh, we just got hit points level, 54 hit points. Very cool place to get it. And there is dessert down. And the Gelatinoth mommy is down. All we have left is the Colneromancer. Oh my god, we have done it. We have defeated the Colneromancer after all the questing and skilling and all the stuff we've uh, worked on over the last 15 days. Because group Iron Man came out October 6th and it's currently October 21st. 15 days to finish RFD on the group Iron Man and get Barrow's gloves. Oh, it's so satisfying. Okay, let's put the XP lamp into Herblore. Gonna give us 20k XP. Gives us level 54. I have refused to upgrade from the Clink's Gauntlets. I've refused to buy the Addy or Rune Gloves or anything. I just want to wait till Barrows. And my god, we freaking did it. You kids don't know a thing about delayed gratification nowadays. 130k, it's a lot of GP for me, but definitely worth it. Like on the UIM, this is one of those items where I would buy and then alk it and buy it and alk it over and over and over. But now we're keeping these forever, really. It's like a one-time payment, essentially, unless I risk them in the wildy. Oh my god, dude, look at those freaking Wait, why is my guy look so small? <laughs> Wait, do they always- do you normally look this small? I, dude, I know I'm short in real life, but come on, game, you don't- <laughs> You don't gotta mock me like that, dude. Oh, it's such a nice feeling, though. Uh, and we got that at 69 combat. Previously, the lowest combat I'd ever finished RFD on was uh, 74 combat on the UIM, but now I've one up myself. We got it at 69 combat on the group Iron Man account. Okay, but like, is this thing gonna fix itself or something? <laughs> I don't know if I'm just seeing things, but like, it's not normally this small, right? Now we can go ahead and put these in the bank and uh, we'll move the clink gauntlets out of the way. <laughs> that is such a huge upgrade, dude. I'm so happy about this. Dude, okay. I don't know if I'm just like tripping out or what. <laughs> why Why does it look so small? Okay, 1250 world. Don't fail me now. First time trying to use it for uh, 
something. Yeah, I think this will work. I've spent way too much time hopping worlds already. Well, I was AFK at Crabs and I got logged out, but at some point, I guess like must have been right before I got logged out, we got 60 strength which puts us at 70 combat, which also allows us to use Chaildar for Slayer. We still have to get a combined total of 130 between attack and strength before we can go for the Dragon Defender. So I'm just kind of AFKing here right now just because it's super AFK and I have a lot of editing to do. Please, Beekeeper. Outfit piece. Yes, the boots. Man, Desert Treasure, Barrow's Gloves. I feel like we got a lot done today. And you can even see in the chat box here, we got quite a bit more done in this AFKing time. Here's the stats now. We're up to 1290 total level, uh, 226 quest points. And then here is this screen as well. 10 days, 20 hours. On the duo group Iron Man high scores, we are currently at rank 43. So we're hanging in there still. We didn't lose that many ranks. That's uh, third page. As much as I'd really like to just jump into Slayer, there are a few more things I want to get done, which I'll talk about at the start of the next video. You know, I've normally been saying I'll see you again tomorrow because I've been uploading daily, and there's a chance I might still upload tomorrow as well, but I don't want to hold myself to it because for all I know, tomorrow I might wake up and just want to do like a really long grind that might take a couple days, so... Um, no more guarantees on the daily videos anymore for the group Iron Man. Just expect it's not going to happen, and if it does happen, you can be pleasantly surprised, or horrendously surprised in a bad way too, if that's how you feel. But I guess if that was the case, you probably wouldn't be watching to the end of the video right now. So thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs videos, which is linked in every video description. And with that said, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again. Uh, I will I will see you again next time.